Hi, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to sniff the traffic of any device on your network. For today's example, I'm going to be using the iPad and we're going to be looking at the traffic that's flowing between applications and the internet. The same instructions go for any device on your network. It just so happens that the iPad is an easy example to use. So we're going to be using two tools, ARP spoof and MITM proxy. Now the ARP spoof allows us to trick the device into thinking that we're the router and to push all its traffic through us. The MITM proxy uh, basically lets us sniff the HTTP and HTTPS traffic from that device and see what's actually going on. Now as you know, HTTPS traffic is encrypted, so normally this kind of attack wouldn't work because the target device would start throwing up warnings saying incorrect certificate, um, SSL warnings basically. Uh, the way we get around this is that when you install MITM proxy, it will also generate a certificate and then you can put that certificate on your target device. So in our case, that's the iPad. Once the certificate is installed here, it will think that the connection is valid and it won't throw up any SSL warnings. So I've sent myself an email to the iPad, which includes the MITM proxy certificate. So all I have to do is click on that, click install, and it says the uh, identity can't or the authenticity cannot be uh, verified. Just click install, put in your pin code, and there you go. We've now got the certificate installed, which means SSL traffic can be snipped. The next thing we want to do is go into settings, Wi-Fi and find out the IP address of this device. So 10.0.1.7 and the real router is 10.0.1.1. So the first thing we're going to do is get our machine ready with MITM proxy and ARP spoof. Now I've put together a little script which can help getting MITM proxy going. So I'll just show you what's included in that. The first command enables IP forwarding, packet forwarding. The next two basically redirect any incoming traffic into the MITM proxy port and the next one starts MITM proxy and you'll find these um, commands in the video description. So we'll start by running that. Okay it's now running. Now in our other tab what we're going to do is start up spoof and you'll see 10.0.1.7 which is the iPad address and 10.0.1.1 which is the IP address that we're pretending to be which is the router. So we'll run that. That's now telling the iPad, hey I'm 10.0.1.1 send all your traffic through to me. So if we go back to our MITM proxy tab and then on the iPad we load Safari you'll see that the request is showing up here and as you can see it is HTTPS on Google and if we click on that we can see the request and we can see the response and if we go out that again let's open up an application uh, let's go for Candy Crush you should see once the application starts launching we should see some of its traffic here there you go, you can see it's hitting mobilecrush.king.com and if we go into that we can see the information that it's submitting. So let's try play a game and see what happens. Okay, so we just finished the game and you'll see that something has been submitted. So let's have a little look at that request. Now if we look at this, we can see a number of interesting things here. Uh, we can see what level it was, we can see what score was submitted. Um, this is really the kind of information that you want when you're sniffing uh, applications to see exactly how they work and how they submit data to their server. Now unfortunately it's not as easy as just modifying the score and resubmitting uh, the data. There is a hash here so you would have to do some uh, digging around in the source code, maybe decompile it to try and work out um, what that hash code is based on. But normally you can do it with uh, if you're determined enough. So that's a really good example of how you can sniff the traffic of the device on your network and see exactly what it's doing, what it's sending to remote servers, uh, what the server is saying back to the device. Um, and that's basically what this whole tutorial or video is about. Now you might be thinking, 
Why bother with ARP spoof when the iPad and most other devices already support entering proxy details? Well, in my experience, many mobile devices based on Android or iOS, for instance the iPad, don't always respect the proxy settings. Um, many applications just seem to completely ignore the proxy and go directly to the internet. So by using ARP spoof, we ensure that every application on the device pushes its traffic through our fake uh, router which is running the MITM proxy. So that's the reason why I'm using ARP spoof and not just relying on the proxy settings within the device itself. Now in this video I haven't shown you how to actually install MITM proxy in ARP spoof. It's very simple um, but I just don't think it's worth spending five to ten minutes on video showing you what I can put in just a few lines on the video description. So if you look down below you'll see in the video description that I do give instructions on how to install these applications. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do give a thumbs up if you did and let me know in the comments below what you're going to be sniffing. <laughs> That's not going to work is it? I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please give a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section what traffic you're going to be sniffing and what applications you're interested in.